Um, in a lot of cities across our country and the world, we're used to seeing some of this pollution, smog filling the air, but now some scientists are studying COVID-19 as an unintended experiment changing our planet on this Earth Day. As more and more people are staying at home and staying off the roads, have you noticed that our air has cleaned up? Well, meteorologist John Aaron spent this Earth Day researching coronavirus and its impact on our environment and your health. I-77, if you drove it every day before the coronavirus crisis, you probably don't anymore. And it shows. Oh my gosh, it's so much nicer. You can get where you're going quickly. We built this chart based on data from the North Carolina Department of Transportation. It starts traffic from early March through today. Now the top line here shows our state's busiest roads. You can see as soon as schools closed, traffic dropped and never picked back up. And the result is clean air here in Charlotte and really around the world. Check this out. This is a snapshot from a NASA satellite over the Northeast. It measures ozone pollution. First, the March average from 2015 through 2019. Now, March of 2020. It's about nitrogen dioxide, that nasty kind of pollution caused by car exhaust. It's down 30% in the Northeast. And on this Earth Day, the impact is across the globe. In Italy, pollution is down 49%, 46% in Paris, 38% in Sydney, Australia, 29% in Los Angeles. And in India, where pollution has been a huge issue for decades, it's down 38%. Check this out. This is video from New Delhi on a typical December day. Smog clogging the skyline. This is today. For the first time, people in Jalandahar City can remember the air is clear enough to see the Himalayan mountains 100 miles away. So it's pretty out, you know, the flowers are blooming and everything's green. Now we can't say this is because of reduced traffic. The data just isn't there yet. But last month we had five code yellow days. That's moderate air quality compared with March of last year, which was 10. This month we've had three moderate days so far compared to 10 last year. The air is easier to breathe, but I'm not sure if that's because there's less pollen or if that's because of less cars. It's ironic, isn't it? As we track a respiratory infection, our air actually becomes cleaner. Doctors with Stanford University say people with pre existing conditions like asthma will experience fewer symptoms right now. And they're studying whether it will help with symptoms for coronavirus patients. Now, air pollution levels tend to move pretty quickly, so an instant reduction of vehicles on the road or factories pumping out steam, that'll lead to a quick, noticeable improvement in air quality. But as far as lasting impacts or a lasting change in our habits after this pandemic ends and its future impact on Earth pollution, well, that still remains to be seen. Erica?